Alright, so we landed on Lunara, one of the auto attack uh, quote unquote carries of this game with a pretty cool kit, I think. Uh, our Q is called Noxious Blossom. This is a tiny little skill shot that pops after half a second, dealing damage and applying your trait to people. Crippling Spores is your W, and this is revolving entirely around your trait. Once you have your trait on people, you hit this button and they are slowed for... Well, slowed by 40% over 3 seconds, but the slow gets significantly weaker as time goes on. Wisp is your E. This is just your big old scouting ability. You throw it somewhere, you can see people. It takes 2 hits to kill. Nature's Toxin is your trait. This is what makes Lunara so frustrating to play against. Uh, she applies this with her Q and her auto attacks and her ultimates, uh, but it is a stacking debuff dot that you put on people. You can do it three times and get significantly more impactful with the number of stacks that you put on people. Your first heroic is Thornwood Vine. You're going to throw a vine. It's going to do some damage in a line. It's going to apply your trait. This is a charge ultimate, so you've got a couple opportunities to throw it. It's on a pretty decent cooldown to 15 seconds per charge. Leaping Strike is your second ultimate. This is just going to make you hop over somebody, slow them, deal some damage. You can do this twice on a 20 second charge cooldown. But this is this is probably your big burst ultimate. That is Lunara. Uh, I don't think she's incredibly difficult to play, but she's also not the simplest to play either. So let's hop in and see what we can do. Alright guys, we made it to Volskaya, we have an Abathur comp. This game may not be the easiest to win. I'm just reading over talents right now to try and figure out the build that I would like. I think we're probably going to go for some manner of uh, clearing build. It may end up being that we need Thornwood Vine this game instead of uh, Hoppy Ultimate. Hmm. What's that called? Leaping Strike! Hop, hoppy ultimate. Anyway, the level one talent, in case you missed it, uh, is the Wisp talent. Just go ahead and slow Gray Main down. Try and get some more easy poke on him. Nope, he ran away. That's fine. That's what I wanted him to do. Uh, but at level one, the Wisp talent, when you put it in a bush, as long as it can sit there for a wee bit, it's going to explode in vision radius. And, oh, look at that. See? You can see a whole bunch of shit coming. I really wanted to go for the gank on Rainer, but I guess that's not a thing that we're going to get. Let's go ahead and... Abathur with the heals. Greymane still taking damage from our trait, which is awesome. Greymane doesn't have any sustain, so he's going to have some trouble dealing with us in lane. Found him. I found him. Did we get him? Nope. Almost. Almost. Just come up here, go ahead and lay down the law with our freaking damage. We're going to take Nature's Culling here to make sure that we can do plenty of PvE damage. Make sure these lanes never get pushed more than we want. Go ahead and dump our wisp over here. Make sure that everything is visible. You'll never see us seeing you coming. Alright. Uh, 
I really would have liked it if we had gone for the turret there, but that is no biggie. Try and get our wisp down to this bush over here. Looks like he made it. Super spy wisp guy. Didn't die. Let's put some damage on Sonya. She's not going to be able to stop us. Oh, unless she gets a spear and just goes in. Let's back it up. Back it, back it way up. Just put our trade all over everybody. Try and get our damage out on everybody here. Oh, it's not cool. It's not cool. Slowing her down, slowing her down. Gonna die now. Or we're just gonna get the kill for, you know, a little bit of effort. Let's grab our fountain and get the fuck back in here. Gonna put our wisp right over in this bush. Let it stack up, see if the enemy team wants to go for the kill on it. Looks like they uh, don't even realize it's there. Stack up our trait on old Grey Main. Rainer got the wisp. I don't know if that's a good idea, friend. We're already on the point. We just want to keep clearing. Get to seven first. We got it. We're going to take Splintered Spear here every time that we throw our W down. Our, or sorry, our Q down. Our W. Our auto attacks, motherfucker. God. Our auto attacks are going to split up. And do damage to everybody. I believe it splits into four. Slow Sonya down. Getting lit the fuck up by all that damage. Put that wisp down there. Enemy team is not yet... Okay, they didn't even go for the fight. I'm gonna hop in the robot. And then we're gonna go top and clear the fuck out of that lane. Let's see. Just fling the W. Clear out those minions. Don't do that. Wow, I didn't think the whole team was going to bail on the robot. So I guess that's not going to be the direction that we go. Let's go ahead and kill this. Throw our W back for some minion kills. Your W instantly kills minions, by the way. Get old Zeratul a shield. Get him the punch. See if Zeratul can get the cleanups. It looks like everybody's getting cleanups. What a team effort. Good job, everybody. Give him another shield. Get the punch off on the building. Throw a W before we die. Nailed it. Doing the... Doing the do. Avatar has got his soak on top lane. I'm just going to try. We're going to take Thornwood Vine here because I don't necessarily want to be assistance. I am going to die. There it is. There it is. Now we're going to have the biotic emitter and we're going to go back to get all the health back that we lost for taking that camp. It's Awesome. We're ahead in levels right now. Everybody looking fresh and fancy. Got all sorts of lane pressure going on. Got Abathur ahead of the game. That's where we want to be. Let's go up here. Try to help Asmo deal. Oh my god, he is so dead. Yep, that happened. Go ahead and get the counter kill. Get the two counter kills. Good shit. Asmo using his big beautiful body to bait the enemy team. I like the way that it works. Just knocking it all down. All of it. Yeah. Fuck you, minions. Let's go ahead and put our wisp over in this bush here get the biggest amount of value that we can out of the vision and then we'll get our push back on just throw some more 
Ridiculous AoE poison damage down. It's good. It's good. Everything is fine. Zero tool in no danger. Um, okay. You got him. I think we got him. Yeah, we did it. Way to go, team. Let's put some more damage down on the fort here. Nailed it. I'm going to go get in mana. Make sure that we are ready for this next altar fight. And then actually we're going to go take this camp. I think this is going to be the biggest, bestest use of our time. Let's see. Super easy clear. Especially with the assist from Zeratul. At this level, we're going to take Endless Spores. So when we apply our trait to more than two people and hit our W, it's going to reduce the cooldown. Uh, so we can just keep it going and keep the enemy team all sorts of in line. Really need to quit Discord, apparently. Enemy team just backing it up. They are not on the same talent tier as us, so they know they can't fight in. Awesome stuff. Really not hitting anything with our abilities, which is a little bit worrying. There we go. Just put some damage down. We got the cooldown ready. Ow. Drop her heal. Make sure that we don't die. Nailed it. Nailed it. Do we need the gunner? Should I be the gunner? Okay, no, we don't need the gunner. Go ahead and pop that wave. The thing about Lunara that most people neglect to... Holy crap, dude. Good fucking dunk. Okay, yeah. Uh, Discord's gotta go. Seriously? And you're getting in the way of even me killing you? That is really cool, Discord. Thank you. You're being so awesome. Let's go ahead and slow Sonya down. Put some damage on her. Get the keep. Just get the fuck out of here. Just straight back. And exit. Holy fuck. No more beeping. We're good. We're going to take unfair advantage because at this moment uh, we're going to have crippling spores up our W a, a lot with our current build and while people are slowed they're going to take more damage from a trait which should basically be on them all the time with our splintered spear and our uh, da -da 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 -da. what is that other talent? Endless spores. I remember things. Let's go ahead and put our wisp over here. And just make sure that we don't get ganked for making mercenary camp plays. Everything worked out better than expected. It's not like the enemy team should ever really try to step on us. They're uh, three levels down and a talent tier. And it is a pretty hefty one too. Just try and get some damage on the raider. That's okay, man. That's okay. Looks like I'm gonna die because I'm being bloody body blocked by a wall and a huge teammate. I didn't 
Somebody please get that. Thank you. I don't even think he realized he was going to get that kill. Boop. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, in in uh, in general, when you're playing games, do your teammates a favor and don't stand next to them. Unless there's some specific healing required that you stand next to each other, uh, don't do it. Because the enemy team is going to kill your whole team with a wombo, a combo, or uh, you're going to get uh, a friendly killed by just making it impossible for them to run the other direction. Oh no. Let's throw our wisp over here, see if we can get it out there. We want to contribute even the tiny amount of vision as best we can. Just pull him down here. Try to get over there to help our team. They have a whole bunch of items. Artanis looks like everybody dropped them. I'm real happy with those decisions. Go ahead and slow him down. Nailed it. Avatar with the Lunara clone, letting us clean up hard. Oh, look, there's a turret. How nice. Just gonna go get down on the point. Get all of that fucking shit going. Make sure that our team has vision in this direction. We don't really have anyone to worry about with the Avatar hat. I think even if Raynor and Tassadar want to step up on us with our turret and our hat and our damage, we're not going to die. So let's just park it. Put down some good old spray. Look at how cool that is. It's all animated. And then, uh, dance. Hippity hoppity hippity hoppity hippity hoppity hippity. Yep. You bitched out real quick, didn't you? We're just gonna back up because our team is not here. I know. Please don't ping me. I got it. Let's try and kill the raider. Almost got it. Almost got it. We don't need to go in yet. Let's wait till Zero Tool gets here then everything will be fine. Samuro just going in and blowing his clone. I didn't think I was going to get killed that easy. Let's go ahead and just slow everybody down the best we can. Get back here. We're going to take intensifying toxin at 20 to make sure that our trait damage is good. Got him! I don't know why he came back to kill the turret. Seems like a dumb thing to do. Spinning around in circles. It's just deer things. Just deer things. Boop. Let's go. Time to win the game. Your deer has evolved into giant fucking robot. And my team's going to do me a favor and kill the keep before I even get there, making this game extremely easy to end. Didn't even need to worry about getting any value out of our trait. Everything works. Let's just go ahead and kill the enemy team for good measure. Um. Okay, maybe it's just me. Let's focus all our damage on the core. We do put out a fuck ton at level 20 here. Don't want to deal with that. Punch and walk and shield and punch and walk and punch and walk. Punch, 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 punch. Just put down everything that we can. It's awesome. Did it. Way to suicide for the core team. Way to go. GG indeed. I believe it's at. Oh my god, it was Artanis. Really? I wonder how Avatar didn't get it that. There he is. Um, yeah, you deserve it. Look at that. I stood still. This is all me. I did a really good job standing there. Did you notice? Did you notice all the spinning and the spraying? Standing in the one spot at a time? Wasn't that cool? 
I deserve a card for that. Stats. Let's take a look at him. We only died two times. Much happier with the way that went. Uh, had I played a wee bit more safer and just looked at my positioning, these two deaths probably could have been avoided. Um, with this particular build, you should be standing real far back anyway and throwing a lot of poke down with your Q and your ultimate. But I think it worked out. It worked out. Uh, friendly team was real good at not dying and, and pooping out the damage to you. The talents for this game, level 1 Sentinel Wisp, getting a whole, whole fuck ton of vision uh, for our team. Level 4 is Nature's Culling to do more damage to non-heroes, which helped us soak and push waves back against the enemy team. Splintered Spear to throw down our Nature's Toxin on everybody. Thornwood Vine to do the same thing from the safe distance that it can do. Uh, Endless Spores to make our W more effective with all of the um, splintered spearing and and poison that we were putting on everybody. And then 16 was unfair advantage to do 60% more damage with our trait for the slowed, rooted, or stunned targets. They were all slowed quite a bit because of the cooldown on our W here. It was pretty easy to keep this going. And then intensifying toxin at 20 because once you hit three stacks of nature's toxin, it's going to do even more damage on top of this damage on top of all the cooldown that you have here. So that's your safe Lunara build. That's the easiest way to play her. There are other ways to play her that are more mamey and fun. But um, if you're if you're just looking to to get into the hero for the first time, I suggest that Thornwood Vine. Anyway, that's Dear Lady. I hope you had fun. Do them YouTube things. Don't do them YouTube things. I'm sure you're aware by now. But uh, I hope you have a great day.